welcome. Today we're going to actually add a power button with one line of code and of course the physical pieces we need. Here's a few caveats. The biggest one is you got to use GPIO 3. All right, parts, what we're going to need. Got a momentary switch. I happen to have a package of these. I'll put a link in the comments and below. Just a simple momentary power button, two leads, no LEDs, nothing fancy. And we're going to need our connector wires. I happen to have a pack here. I'll just snip off one of the ends that I don't need. And, oop, don't want to break my camera. So we'll set those aside. All right, now fast forward. Here I've got my button with the cables soldered on. So now we're just going to attach those cables in to pins five. Five is definitely required. However, six is a ground. You can use any ground on the board for this to work. Nothing fancy there, just patching these in. All right. So now we have our two cables connected to our power switch. Oop, that's a little close to the camera. And we'll set that down. So next, we're actually going to connect into our Raspberry Pi. I used SSH so I could capture the text a little better. What we're going to enter is uh, sudo nano slash boot slash config.txt. We're going to edit the config.txt file. And the information we're actually going to add at the bottom. By the way, I like to remark everything uh, I do in here. That way, six months from now, when I go look at it, I know what it is, this line of code I added. So we're going to add DT overlay equals GPIO dash shutdown. All right, control X, Y to save. Now, after I do this, I'm actually going to reboot the Raspberry Pi. Once it comes up, I'm actually just gonna issue a shutdown. And to make things quicker, I'm not gonna show that. All right, so let's see what happens. Here, I'm gonna push the button. And you're gonna see when I switch screens here, my wonderful low budget showing here. Nope, Raspberry Pi is booting up, okay. Now the Raspberry Pi is fully booted. Let's see what happens when we push the button and shut it down. All right, push the button. And whoop, there it goes. It is shutting down cleanly. And that's it. Thanks for watching.